Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast between OGS Top versus I am Lucira here on Crossfire. We have Lucira spawning as the blue Zerg on the bottom left hand side of the map. Is that actually their colors or do I have ally color on? Oh, <laughs> it doesn't matter because uh, yeah, their colors are just actually swapped. Um, anyways, we have Lucira spawning as I believe... I can't tell which one's actually the team colors or not. And we have Lucira spawning as the red Zerg. Meanwhile, over here on the top right hand side of the map, we have Top spawning as the blue Terran. But then again, my colors are going to get confused. So there you go. OGS top is red. I am Lucira is blue. And hopefully that doesn't add any more confusion as it is Zerg versus Terran. Now, Crossfire, a map that's technically part of the Battle.net um, Battle pool, but it isn't one of the ladder maps. There are only two spawning locations, and there's a lot of ways to get into your opponent's base. There is the immediate route that has rather wide and then narrow choke points going across the entire um, entire middle section of the map. Meanwhile, there is also these um, Zelnaga pathways that you take a little bit more roundabout way, but you do get access to those Zelnaga caverns or Zelnaga towers. Excuse me. And that definitely does help out. Top opening up with that standard 12 racks build. Meanwhile, we'll see what Lucira does. He hasn't really shown his hand just quite yet. Spawning pool, extractor, or hatchery may all be coming in first. And it is, in fact, going to be an extractor pool or pool extractor at about the same time. So extractor pool about the same time normally means that if there was any marine pressure, he would be able to easily handle it. But there is not going to be any marine pressure as we can see a refinery already coming into play. So with that, and there are still a number of options Lucero could go for. He could be trying to go for roaches as he now transfers three drones over to the extractor. And perhaps will put down a, a bit of early pressure as now we see an overlord move out. We can see that the SCV also going to be coming around the corner. Take a look. See that no hatchery is in play at all. And then do a bit of scouting. We can also see a drone also trying to make its way out. And it looks like the drone, oh, accidentally attacking the SCV. And the drone will ac actually be blocked for a little bit of time there. As the drone now getting some damage onto this one particular um, SCV there. And also we can see a queen and some zerglings. And being queued up as well. So it is going to be a very, very macro intensive game coming in from Lucira. Meanwhile, Top does have another supply depot now placed down. Um, yeah, placed down here in this location. He will be able to finish off this wall in pretty well. And I'm not 100% sure, but I think he built this supply depot a little bit further back. Um, with that, he may actually be able to minimize the amount of damage any banelings are able to do if they try to splash their way in. I actually think, yeah, this is a little bit further back than normal. Or is that actually in the same position? It looks like it actually is. It might be in the same position. I'm not 100% sure. It just looks a little bit different to me as we are now going into a factory and also adding in um, a reactor. So we may have some Hellions or this may just be the standard Marine tank. Meanwhile, Lucero is going for that Roach Warren that I mentioned earlier. But he's going to have it find himself a little bit in a difficult situation. The SCV, does he spot the Roach Warren? Yes, he does. The drones did not come off the mineral line, so spotting that Roach Warren was huge as Top now finally loses that SCB there. A hatchery will be placed down here in just a moment. It, may, it is going to be at the natural expansion location, but it may be used as a macro hatch as you do see that a roach, a roaches are currently being trained, but now all of a sudden completely pulling off all of the drones that were originally on gas. So it doesn't look like there is going to be much of a roach push. As you can now see, Zergians now pushing their way forward. You can see the reactor there. There is going to be a tank with siege tech. So it is going to be a marine tank on the push out there. You can also see that the bunker is in position. So only this supply depot will be rather weak. That bunker is now salvaged as what we will see what this one SCV tries to do. It is now going into a starport. So building up a siege tank may try to build up one more siege tank or decide to instead um, do a tech lab swap or just simply train up medevacs the old fashioned way. We are running off of two gas. Meanwhile, the hatchery over here by Lucira about to be completed about 75% almost there. Meanwhile, Lucira still is not mining any gas at all. So he is really trying to mineral up and perhaps set up another hatchery. It is possible to set up a hatchery here or even possible to set up a hatchery here. But this one is a little bit closer to your opponent and a little bit more difficult to defend. We'll see what Lucira does in terms of his third base. Top, on the other hand, already setting up his second base command center being built there will land here in just a moment and also an overlord along the back door making sure that nothing comes along this section over here a zergling 
I believe was it took a little bit of damage there as also Lucira has a lot of overlords in position to perhaps catch any sort of drop play which may be coming in. A Banshee is now being trained as we mentioned earlier another Zergling um, getting taken down rather easily a siege tank without siege tech most likely to try to push back against any roaches as that Banshee now with cloaking research and uh, will be coming in in just a moment as well. Supply Depot also coming in no longer supply locking top now lucira who is still i believe running off of oh finally running off of one gas now i was going to say he's running off of no gas but he does most likely have a very strong drone advantage 36 to 26 at this stage with four more drones underway and there's that macro hatch which i mentioned just moments ago instead of trying to establish an expansion lucira looking to extend i guess the mid game just a little bit longer as he is not at tier two yet not the mid game, sorry, the early game as he is not at tier 2. Perhaps he will be able to amass up a lot of roaches and banelings. But those banshees are going to have a very, find themselves in a very, very nice position to shut down those roaches. As you can now see some zerglings moving across the map. One banshee should be moving out. There is one marine standing off over here. There's that banshee that I mentioned earlier. The queens are already in position. Another queen now being trained. So there are going to be two queens at each location and an evolution chamber now coming in as well so that evolution chamber about 25 seconds away and we can also see that the banshee does have cloak no spore crawlers means a lot of damage as one drone uh, now taken down oh that the banshee now getting up to five kills already there's the cloak and that was absolutely huge you can see that the roaches the queen now trying to back off and now these two banshees going to get a lot of damage lucira not taking the tier two taking a lot of damage already as a spore crawler is now trying to be built that is not going to be a very, very helpful at all. The queen now taken on as well. So two queens are now down. A spore crawler finally coming into play. As this one spore crawler, as another queen may get shut down. So those queens definitely dealing a lot or definitely getting taken down rather quickly. As now finally a spore crawler is in play to try to absorb or, or to try to deter any of these banshees from engaging. You can see another queen over here. And now another Spore Crawler coming in. Some damage is being dealt. The Queen now trying to back off. It looks like it is going to be down to a one hit point. Natural Regeneration couldn't save it. As the drones are just desperately running for their lives. In comes a new Queen. That Queen needs to back off. Perhaps get close enough to that Spore Crawler. And that Queen staying alive at one hit point now. But going to get focused down once again. As Lucira losing Queen after Queen. A lot of damage has been dealt. These two Banshees more than worth their weight. Taking a look at the losses, 1950 versus 100 as a new queen comes in, finally able to shut down one of the Banshees. And now this Banshee will return home, but the spoils of victory already going to OGS top, taking an early demanding lead, 2,000 resources lost compared to 1350. However, if you look at the overall um, harvester count, it is still fairly even, 34 to 35. The only difference is really the fact that we do are, we are getting a lot of um, a lot of gas once more, and those mules are definitely helping out top. Once again, we are going into double refineries at the natural expansion. Top will be running off of four gas in just a moment. As Lucira looks to perhaps establish an expansion here, he cannot fall behind. He does have a macro hatch, will, will def which will definitely help him. But Lucira is also supply blocked at 86 over 86. A lot of Zerglings in position. The Zerglings are perhaps going to try to swarm by a Medivac. There is one Zergling now getting taken down. The Zerglings now trying to swarm in. Roach is coming in the front as well. Zerglings finishing off a lot of the front door here. And so much splash damage to be had. Marines are now pulling back. But this is a very nice trade as the Zerglings are now attempting to take down the rest of these Marines. There, are a, there is one medevac in the air. Army composition, 475 versus 1,000. Lucera trying to salvage this game, finishing off some of these Marines. The Marines do not have combat shield or stim yet. So these Zerglings should have been able to easily take them down. As you can now see, 800 versus 300. The Banshee is taking up a majority of the resources in these armies so far as you are now going to see once again a quick um a quick macroing of zerglings 20 zerglings now coming into play more queens coming in as well and this hatchery over here has yet to be built as the banshees are looking for perhaps that all-important third base which Lucira has yet to set up. You can see um, it coming down over here, going to spot that there is nothing at all, but he doesn't know about this drone, which is currently hiding off in the shadows, as there is now one queen and one spore crawler 
And that is all that is left to try to defend against these two Banshees. 23 kills on one of those Banshees. Definitely worth their weight. As the Queen now going to absorb a lot of damage once more. The Queen now backing off down to one hit point. It does get shot down. The Spore Crawler now attempting to fire back here. There is another Spore Crawler here. The Zerglings are now on the move. This one Spore Crawler is going to take a lot of damage, but it does root rather quickly. The Queens are nearby, able to get off some damage or perhaps deter those Banshees from coming in. Another Queen now being trained, and, and these Banshees are looking to get even more damage, shutting down even more of these drones. 26 Worker Kills. 43 drones versus 54. This spore crawler not long for life. The queens are now coming in, and the queens are not within sight range. Lucira not seeing this, and that's a bit of a problem as the spore crawler with a range of seven, unable to destroy any of these banshees. Army compositions 1800 versus 2850. Top should be able to easily take this game as long as he does not overcommit into any major battle. You can see now a very large army of marines on the move. Going to shut down this overlord. Stim pack and combat shield now completed. Zerglings hiding off over here. A lot of banelings now being hatched as well. But those banelings are going to melt away to those siege tanks. And perhaps the banshees. 92 over 96. Creep tumors now being destroyed. The movement speed upgrade about to be completed. It needs about another 25 seconds. As the siege tanks are in position... And those siege tanks will be able to just shell away at all of those banelings as more banelings are once again trying to be hatched. 1450 versus 575, a banling now walking into position, not going to be able to do much at all. Down goes that spore crawler, the banshees are going to be able to have their way once again. Banshees now moving into position. Banelings, or Banelings do have that movement speed upgrade. Going to melt away some of those tanks there and now melt away some of those more tanks. One tank is all that is left. But it may be a little bit too much. And there is the GG Lucira losing the OGS top here on Crossfire. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.